now with Zach and find out about this rain. Kind of the, the heat is not the issue. It's just where is all the water going to go? That's right. And you know when the rain finally ends and the heat sets in, it is going to be brutal because of all the humidity around. And the situation we have right now is an atmosphere that is just chock full of humidity, so the ground can't dry up. The ground is saturated, so any additional rain that falls is going to be running off, and that's why we have the flooding concerns. Nothing out at the diamond right now, but the squirrels are back in town for a long uh, home stand, at least a six game home stretch tomorrow. And hopefully we'll be a little bit luckier tomorrow with the rain. 72 this morning, 85 this afternoon. 1.31 in the rain gauge out at RIC. More than that in some areas here in Richmond. 81 is our current temperature. Very humid. Dew point of 77. Calm winds. So nothing really to stir things up, make it feel any better. It is just sweltering out there. Upper 70s and low 80s across most of the Commonwealth right now. Light rainfall, northern neck and middle peninsula, just a few scattered showers there. And as you head back toward uh, Culpeper and Orange, uh, getting in on a little bit of uh, moderate rainfall. And some moderate to heavy rainfall, top end 295 around Glen Allen, then across 95 past Chamberlain and heaviest rainfalls right along the Canisville Turnpike and 295 and continuing all the way down towards Sandston. Heavy shower poke on a state park uh, right along 288 and Iron Bridge Road and heavy shower between Lake Chesden and Pocahontas State Park. A couple of flash flood warnings in effect, one for the west end until 645, another one longer until 815 for areas south of the river, including Midlothian and Brander Mill. Lots of rainfall here. This is the five day total Doppler estimates, 8.3 inches up near Ashland, six and a half here in Richmond in the near west end. 6.3 down near Bonaire, 8.2 just south of Richmond, Westover Hills area. And so it's uh, been a tough stretch over the past five days. More rain developing and pushing into the same locations. There's a look at the flash flood watch continues until 10 o'clock tonight. Lows are going to be in the low 70s in most areas with high temperatures tomorrow making it into the mid 80s. I don't expect as much rainfall for the area tomorrow, but still the ground's not going to dry up at all, so what does fall is going to create a problem. About a 40% chance for a shower storm. Now tomorrow the risk for flooding will shift back to the west. That's the slight risk of excessive rainfall. Marginal in areas here in green. And then Wednesday, same story. It's going to be out west. A lot of this due to Fred, the remnants of Fred coming up into the region. There's Fred right now. Still a tropical storm moving up through the Florida Panhandle. And here's the track on Fred. It'll come up across Atlanta as we get into tomorrow. And then head up through West Virginia. And we'll still have tropical moisture into the rest of Virginia, uh, bringing us a better chance for rain on Wednesday. Here's Grace over southern Haiti. It's going to take a track through the northern Caribbean. It may make a landfall in the Yucatan and then strengthen to a hurricane before a second landfall in Mexico. And we have a third name storm. Henri developed this afternoon. There's Bermuda right in here. It looks like it's going to take a little loop around Bermuda and probably still create some issues there with some big waves for the island and may actually bring a pretty good swell to the east coast as well. But the great news here is that it looks like Henri is going to stay offshore. There's a look at your seven day forecast and we'll still have these rain chances in here. They will uh, kind of take a step back tomorrow, but come uh, in on Wednesday, a little bit heavier for us, and then it looks like it gets better as we head toward the upcoming weekend. It'll still be hot, though, and very humid.